What's up YouTube? Welcome back to an interesting thing and today we are going to Retro Palooza in Arlington, Texas. Over there is Taco Bell and that's a good sign. So I'm gonna get in the car because we're going to Arlington. It's a sign. All right, YouTube, we're getting dirt close. What's up, YouTube? And now we're at the Arlington Convention Center uh, for Retro Palooza. So we're gonna go in and see some stuff. Sadly, we missed Arlo's thing, but hey, whatever, you know. Anyways, let's go. There's a couple of people in line. Not very many this time. That's a joke, Internet. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the Ranger Stadium. Funny story about that, I got lost there for 30 minutes. All right, YouTube, not much line left. Almost there, almost, we're so close. Oh man, this convention looks sweet, guys. Can't wait to get in there and actually do some stuff. Uh, we missed Arlo, because um, time is, yeah, 2.30. Pretty sure Arlo's already done talking. If he's not, we'll make it, but whatever, you know what I mean. All right, so we're in the convention center. We've been frisked and we're safe to enter. Let's do this, guys. Here's our passes. Yeah! Okay, so we've wandered around Lost for about 30 minutes. We're trying to find where Arlo and Soon the Gaming Historian will be to go see what they're doing. Then we're gonna go check out the vendors and, you know, go do some console stuff. So this will be interesting. There's Arlo. <laughs> That's pretty edgy. So, uh, Chrome just popped up and said, Google recommends you use Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? It works on Microsoft Edge. Oh. Ah, boo! <laughs> we recently bought equipment to film stuff on the road, so I think next year we're going to hit the road and we're going to interviews. All right, so we literally just got out of the Gaming Historian, and Dad, what do you think about the Gaming Historian? Yep. I'm just saying, expect a really big video soon. Uh, he's also teasing a second channel. Should I be Should I be saying that? Are those like secrets? Nah, people recorded that. Anyways, we just got out of the Gaming Historian. I decided to skip out on Boogie, because I really don't know what I would ask Boogie, and I wanted to go see the vendors and stuff, so yeah. Uh, let's go check out some vendors. Might get to see Chad Tronic. We're not hungry right now, but there's the food options for anyone wanting to come in a couple years. So, uh, yeah, let's go check out vendors. Look at this place. Holy cr Oh, the camera wasn't angled. Look at this place. Holy crud. Stadium events for the NES. I have no idea how much that can cost, man. Whoa. Here we have a crud ton of Japanese games, guys. This is awesome. I, I, as an American, never even get to see games like these in their Japanese forms. So it's really cool to get to come here and look at games that not me personally got to play back in the day. Here's Final Fantasy. Look at how thick the box is. <laughs> wow. They have some awesome pixel art. They have a Mario headband. Dude. Considering somebody who's made these before, I know how much work gets put into these. It's a lot. This is really cool, guys. Look at this. This is cool, man. Really good work with this. These look really great. Especially that Zelda one. Man, that's a lot of work right there. Yeah, but I love it. These are really nice. So many people are making some awesome real-life pixel art. And... Donkey Kong's Bramble Scramble playing in the background, bringing back PTSD from the hours I've spent trying to beat that level. Wow. So, a funny story about this game, guys. I actually have this in gray. Um, somebody just said that, like, they didn't make this game in gray, or no, they haven't seen it in gray. So, I'm going to look online once I get home and, like, take a picture of it for you guys. 
I've never seen another copy of this in actual gray before, and yeah, this is interesting. So, um, here's the game I was talking about literally a second ago. Gray Adventure of Link, but it has a gold sticker on the back, which is starting to lead me to believe that this was a manufacturing defect. Uh, take a comparison to my copy of Legend of Zelda and compare these two. And around back, they share a gold sticker. So, and also that is crinkled in an interesting way. I don't think the previous owner did that. That seems as if it was done in the factory. It, it very well could have been done by the previous owner. See how the previous owner treated this like crap, but yet this one was treated pretty decent. Oh, okay, that was treated like crap too. But in comparison, Adventure of Link actually seems as if it was intended to be in the same cartridge mold as these. Um, so that is really, really, really interesting. Um, haven't done any research on it, um... I'll, like, take another video or something if I get any data. Dang. Okay, so literally while editing, I went and checked the price. And thank goodness this game actually isn't rare because I kind of don't want to part with it. But, yeah, this is a common thing that happened. I think NinT was just trying to clean out their inventory and that happened. So, yeah, nothing too rare, nothing bad. But, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, whatever. So over here they have a bunch of bootleg games. Check this out. Turtles 2 through 3? I have no idea what that means. What's this? Mario's Tennis on the Virtual Boy. Okay, that's not a bootleg, but that's still really cool. A lot of these Famicom games are bootlegs. This is awesome. Granddad. Over here we have a bunch of NEC CD games or Neo Geo CD. Bunch of stuff, man. Guys, it is Chad. It is Chapstick. Chapstick is here. <laughs> Guys, we just got done talking to Chadtronic and we picked up a comic book. And it's signed by Chadtronic. Uh, there's Chad. <laughs> Anyways, awesome. So here we got Boogie back here. Oh, my bad. There's Boogie. So we just got to meet Chad Tronic, and we are back from Retropalooza. What do you guys think? What about you? What do you think? Well, we're waiting for your response. Hey. He's dead. No heartbeat. Oh, just a little... Okay, just got back from Steak and Shake. We ate some steak and we ate some shake. And now we're going back in to go see Chadtronic again. This time in front of a mass crowd before we get ran over. So, uh, there's Ranger Stadium. So, let's -a go. Never going to say that ever again for the rest of my life. Let's-a go. Whoop, I just broke my own promise. Okay, so here's our man Chapstick. Oh! It's Chapstick. Guys, this is, this is the man of the hour. This is what we have all waited for. That is Chad Tropic. <laughs> it's time for some high-quality fricks. <laughs> It's chapstick. <laughs> this thing on? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. To the very first official Chadtronic panel. sitting in the front row up here. Uh, we're, we're really, we hit like a home run because like, I know the event coordinator for this event, I wanted to meet them and uh, 
They invited me as a guest. I'm also a sponsor. I'm also a vendor. So like anything that I could be at this convention, like I'm that. So okay. And uh, or piggyback. That's probably a better word. <laughs> Which just sounds bad. <laughs> But uh, no, I usually ask permission, um, and uh, most of the time, uh, like I know Brett, uh, the guy from the kazoo, uh, he watched the video, he really enjoyed it. But actually, everyone's been usually pretty good about it. But uh, let's see, you and the parental advisory. Shirt. I was wondering, where did you find the lobster costume? Did you get it off of the Amanda Show auction or something? Uh, you know, the story of the lobster suits. Uh, is kind of interesting. I found somebody on YouTube who had uh, a suit, just like the one I have, and I contacted them, and I actually was going to try to buy it from them, because I really wanted that exact same suit. Um, and they said, nope, you can't buy it. But So anyways, that, guys, that was Retro Palooza 2018. Pretty great. Hope I can come back in the future. So, anyways... I gotta go home now because you ain't got no clue how far it is to my crib. So we probably should be getting out of here right now. And there's an airplane above us. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Anyways, see you guys in another video. Also, if you're riding on that airplane, please stop. Thanks.